Hey guys, what's going on? So um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty or cool looking vase. Okay, see it's a vase. And what's cool about it is that um, it can be used um, to hold um, origami flowers. Okay, just like that. See? Or perhaps you can probably use it to hold real flowers. Okay? Alright, want to learn how to fold it? Ready, set, here it goes. All right, so for, the, for, for these two vases, I'm going to use a six inch square of Kami, but um, you can probably use any size square or any type of paper probably, okay? And uh, you could use a sheet of printer paper cut square, but then you're not gonna have um, the contrast, unless of course you color one side, okay? All right, so I'm gonna begin white side up, and this will give me a colored vase with white of this part, okay? So here we go, fold in half. and unfold and fold in half this way. And if you want to make um, a white vase with the colored whatever this part is, then you have to begin um, colored side up and you know fold in half, okay? Alright. And unfold and fold this edge to the crease. Okay. Crease sharply. And unfold and fold this edge to the crease. Crease sharply. And we're going to do that all the way around. So um, rotate like this. Make sure the the two creases right here on right here. Okay. And fold this edge to that crease. Okay. Crease sharply. And unfold and fold this edge to this crease. Okay, and crease sharply. And unfold, and we're going to repeat that on the rest of the sides. So here we go. Okay, just like that, and unfold, okay? So, um, white side up now, okay? Alright, so, um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make some, um, pre-creasing for the, um, for when we form the container, okay? So, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, um, this point, and we're gonna fold it to that intersection right there, see? See this intersection right here? Fold it to that intersection, okay? And we're gonna crease all the way across, okay? And unfold, and you're gonna do that to, to, with the remaining three flaps. So rotate like this. Make sure the crease you just made is on the left side and it's vertical. And take this point and fold it to that intersection. Okay. And unfold, and do that two more times. So here we go. So to that intersection, not that intersection, but that intersection. Okay, see? Uh oh, it's not focusing. Come on, focus camera. There we go. So it's that cross I just made. Okay, and last time. Okay, like that. Now unfold, and now Make sure that one of these edges are facing you, okay? So what we're gonna do now is um we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna we're gonna fold this edge to um this intersection right here of creases. Okay, see? Just like that. So see that? So to that right there. And make sure the edges align here and here. Like that. And unfold and repeat three more times. So there we go. So it's that intersection. Okay, 
it just like that. All right, so now we're gonna do is we're gonna turn over the colored side up. And now this is probably the hardest part of the model, okay? One of the hardest. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold this so that um the fold originates at that point right there. There's a little triangle. I'm gonna draw it in so you can see it. See? So here's the center point right here, and there's a little triangle right there. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold it so that the, the fold originates at that point right there. And this point right here is gonna touch this crease, okay? So just like that. I don't think it's that it's tricky, you just you just really need to pay attention to this, okay? Just like that. Now, once you have it, go inside and crease sharply. Okay. Here, I'm gonna charge my camera real quick. I'll be back, okay? Alright, so um so we have it like this, uh, see it's originated at that point right there, and this point is touching that, um, this crease right here, okay? And we're going to do the same thing on this side, so um, we're going to take um, this crease right here, we're going to pinch it, and see there's a little triangle right here that I drew on, okay? So here's the center point right here, and the little triangle right here, so originated at that point right there, and make this point right here touch the middle crease okay once you got it all like that look inside and crease sharply okay it's like that and you can unfold that okay now we're gonna do the same thing on the remaining three okay and I'm gonna stop I'm, I'm actually not I'll, I won't stop my camera okay I'll get it on video so you can see it, okay? Alright, so originated at that point right there. And this point is gonna touch the middle crease right here. Okay. Like that. Crease sharply, okay? So I'll show you one more time and then the other two, I'll just go at my own speed, okay? So I'm originating at that point right there, and make this point touch the middle. Okay? Sharply. Okay, like that. Now the other two, I'm gonna go at my own speed, okay? Without talking, okay? I know I'll not stop my camera, okay? I'll get them on video so you, so you get a sense of how I do it. Okay? Not really gonna say it's the this is the easiest model to fold, but um, it's not that hard to make. Okay, this is kind of a low intermediate model probably. So it's not really hard to make in it, but it's not really exactly easy to make. Okay, so maybe low intermediate or intermediate. I don't know. I'll call it low intermediate. But it is pretty cool. I didn't use real flowers yet for this model. Cause you know I just I just designed this model, okay? But I know for a fact you can put origami flowers in it, just like I showed in the intro. Okay. That origami flower that I showed at the intro, Jeremy Schaefer made designed that, okay? If you want to learn how to fold it, I put the video for that in the description below. Okay, all right. So here we made all those creases. Okay, and now we're gonna form the um, the vase now. Okay, so to do that, this is kind of hard to do too. Okay, so we're gonna do is we're gonna um, make these fold at the same time. Pick just pick up a corner. I'm gonna do this one right here. Bring those together like that, and we're gonna fold this down right over the edges, like that. And yeah, it's kind of tricky. You really need to hold them together. And make sure that that point right there aligns with the middle crease. Okay? Crease sharply. Okay? And do that um, three more times. So here we go. So yeah, keep it like this. Okay? We're going to bring these together like that. And fold this down over 
the edges. Like that. And do that two more times. If this point doesn't align with the crease, that's okay, okay? It's not really that big of a deal. Just put up that if it doesn't, okay? So yeah, this is probably the hardest one right here because you have to hold everything together. So yeah, just, yep, same thing. Pull it down. I think we're just about done. Okay. Okay, sharply. Okay, like that. So here we have the base, and now it's just kind of shape it, just pinch these so they stay more. Okay, like that. Just put your finger inside, shape it to taste. Okay, and there you have it. So if you like it like this and you're done, but if you want to kind of make the bottom more, you know, sharper edges like this, then all you have to do is you just have to pinch mountain folds all the way around. So I'm going to start here. So I'm going to so pinch a mountain fold in between these two points. Okay, like that. Doesn't need to be that sharp. And do that all the way around. So like that. Like this. And like that. Okay. And there you have it. There's the origami base. You can stick your flower inside. Like that. Okay. And again, for this flower, um, Jeremy Schaefer taught it on YouTube. It's in the description. Okay. Alright, hope you guys were able to fold that. And comment, rate, and subscribe, and these are all my bases right here, and they're signing out. <laughs> all right, bye-bye.